How's it going, goons? We are back here in Legend Bull today uh, because I wanted to try out a mod. Uh, you can kind of tell from the players running by that the uniforms are changed. That's a Rams player on screen. And that's because we downloaded the NFL mod that the community for this game has created. So if we go into our teams, we can see that instead of the generic teams uh, and logos and uniforms, that the game originally comes with we now have nfl teams so we have the arizona cardinals we can go and we can see their rosters which have all been set and customized again by the community credit to them uh again a link to the uh legend bowl discord will be in the description if you want to find this for yourself there's a couple of other mods i think there's some college football ones but it sounds to me like they're not quite as up to date uh but we can go through we get the falcons uh we just have every single team with their depth charts um and so i figured we could start a season mode with one of these ones could kind of think in lions we'll find out here in a second alongside this mod though i also wanted to touch on uh the team editor and all that i didn't really get into the customization features of this game uh, in the, the last episode. So you can edit the rosters completely. Like if we go in, we could edit every single thing about Aaron Rodgers. We could change his name, all of his skills. Uh, you would click on that and he's got a 100 injury. Good for him. Uh, you could change his jersey number, whether or not they're captain, age, experience, all of this, even down to the intangibles that they have. Um, so work ethic is a four, IQ is a four. Reed is a three, winner is a one. Uh, so there's uh, that. You can do that for every single player. But then you could go and you could change the colors. Uh, so change the jerseys all the way down to like the stars on the captain badge. Uh, so that's cool. You can change the lineups. You can just edit the team, where they're from, what they're called, uh, what their field looks like. So there is just so many options that are available it's a pretty easy mod to install uh it's just pretty much a drag and drop of some files and so i wanted to give this game another shot but with a little bit more interest in it because uh it is the nfl so we will be starting another new season mode here and i didn't really go into it but uh the season is not like a franchise or a dynasty it is a single season right now from what it sounds like though the developers of this game are working on a franchise mode so for the time being we can just see what we can do with a bad team in just one season of play uh, you already know that our coach is going to be named brandon goon and i'm tempted to select a random team but we got to go with one that isn't all too good uh you know it would be a shame if we got stuck with a really easy team so i have like three candidates i think the jets are really bad uh, the Lions were really bad with the roster that they give them. Jaguars aren't too good. Um, and the Bengals aren't great either. But now I know that it is super common to do a Lions franchise or whatnot just because they're, uh, so bad. But it felt a little bit overplayed, so I'm gonna go with maybe the second most common, uh, team to do, and that's gonna be the Jets. So with all that said, let's start another new season. Uh, this is Brandon Goon, the new head coach of the Jets. Uh, and they have, uh, I don't know, scientists. Noah Fant lands a new gig with the Broncos. And we can get this underway. Uh, I don't need to go through a whole lot of the beginning stuff because it's exactly the same as it was last week. However, right off the bat, I will go in and buy our smoothie bar facility just to get that out of the way. So we can, again, just take a look at our roster and see what we have. Zach Wilson is set as the starting quarterback right now. Uh, Michael Perrine is our starting running back with Tevin Coleman behind him. Josh Adams at fullback. Corey Davis, Jamison Crowder, Denzel Mims, and Elijah Moore. The top four wide receivers on the team. Uh, I think Davis is going to be pretty useful with that speed and his skills also relatively high alongside that we have chris herndon and ryan griffin at the tight end spots vera tucker at left guard becton at left tackle mcgovern at center fant at right tackle at right guard we have van roten uh lawson at the lefty ends lefty tackles rankins right d tackles williams and then our two big starting linebackers are cj mosley 
and Gerard Davis. Plenty of corners. We've got Austin Hall, uh, Goldry, and Eccles. All these guys are honestly pretty quick, pretty agile, uh, decent stamina. And I think right off the bat, uh, Goldry might be our return man. Free safety is May. The strong safety is Davis. And then Amendola as our kicker, man as our punter. So Goldry is the quickest player on the team. He's got 90 stamina as well, which is pretty solid. So we're going to go ahead and set him as our kick returner. And our first game is against Buffalo. So we'll see what we can do as we take on the Bills. Buffalo is pretty solid, a much higher overall than us. They are a four bar. We're just a one. They've got the three offense, the four defense, and the four special teams. Uh, this could be a lot more rough uh, than anticipated. Well, I guess just keep our uh, right. Uh, we rank pretty much last in the league for almost everything. We are not the worst overall team, but we are second worst. They are top 10 uh, as far as those rankings go. So here we are, Memorial Field. It is an 88 degree day with just a slight uh, five mile an hour winds. So not too bad. We can go ahead and see with the toss. Of course, we're going to go with tails. Apparently, we just have one captain. Uh, a little bit interesting. It's heads, so we lose the toss. Buffalo elects to receive. We can get this one underway, hopefully with a good kick. Solid, perfect power. A little bit to the left. Hopefully, it's not out of bounds. Oh, that's a shame. We just gave them great field position out at the 48. Seems like maybe that isn't correct to me because as far as I'm aware, kickoff out of bounds this just goes to the 35. But uh, it is what it is. They get great starting field position and run up the middle goes for uh, four yards there. Our main goal, I think, this one season that we have with the Jets is just going to be to try and make the playoffs. Certainly we have no shot at winning the Super Bowl. So we bring pressure on second down. It sets us up with a third and seven that we have to defend against. They're going to hand it off, and it's a tackle in the backfield. So we will hold them to an early three and out. Rankins got back there to make the stop, and it's going to put us in a good position here. They get a great punt. This one's going to be pretty much out of the end zone. No chance on the return. We'll just take the touchback. On first down, we'll have Wilson hand it off on the counter from the 20 yard line trying to follow blockers it's not going to work perfectly but it works pretty well good six yard pickup i'm just not realizing when i was going through our roster i think i called p Ryan by the the wrong name so uh my bad there running it on it second down that loses a little bit and we'll have to go to the air it's been a couple days since i've played so i'm not sure how good our passing is going to be not really any star players at the wide receiver position. Going to go for circle of the pass. This is a 50-50 ball. Crowder comes down with it. He's off to the races. He gets to the 30, the 20. He's out of gas at the 10, and he's tackled at the 7 or 8 yard line. So just like that, it's first and goal for the Jets here. So we're going to hand it off up the middle, and Coleman getting some blocks. Can't get the stiff arm. Maybe should have gone for a spin or a juke. And with Tevin on the bench, LaMichael will come in. Another handoff up the middle, and there it is. Bounces it out towards the edge. And we strike first with the touchdown. It's a five-play, 80-yard drive. As we will see if we can get this extra point. Obviously, you guys know I'm not great at this. That one seemed like it could have been okay. The accuracy, though, pushes us wide right. And the kick is no good. Oh, I accidentally just tapped the, the kickoff button, so we shanked that one. But a huge bounce is behind their head. They're late to pick it up. We just got bailed out with that one. They just get it to the 26 or 27. Are we going to be able to stop them on defense again? We are just on the default difficulty. This could be too easy as the ball is swatted. And we stop them on first down. Sanders couldn't get it done there, and they'll hand it off to Singletary, and he just gets stopped behind, so it's third and long again for these guys. Buffalo really struggling early here. We're just going to go man up three deep, try to prevent them from picking up the first down. They will step back, looking to pass. Pressure's got to be there somewhere. Quarterback's going to scramble. Allen gets hit. Oh, thank goodness we got to him. It's fourth down again. That's the end of the first quarter as the clock expires. And to start this second quarter, we'll be getting the ball on the punt. Even if they get a good one like they did last time, which it seems like they did, 
It should be returnable. Can we get to it and field it in the air? We can at the 10. Anything that we get is great, and we're out past the 20. So it's Ty Johnson on the return there. We're going to get right to Pirine with the handoff on first down. He's got a blocker to follow. He's got a couple of them. No stiff arm again. Not getting the stiff arms today, but good pickup on first down. I think I'm going to be looking for Tevin Coleman here on the pass. Maybe Mims, depending on the coverage. And yeah, we're going for Mims. It's swatted at the line, thankfully. Just hits the turf. Well, now it's a third and three. Got to pick this one up. Going to hand it off to Adams. And with plenty of blockers in front, can he get a whole lot more? Oh, one more block. That could have been maybe to the 40 or 50. Still, though, we move the chains. We have a new set of downs to work with. And throwing it late. We're going to find Herndon. And he's going to come down with it for another big first down gain. This is honestly really surprising to me that we're this successful. Looking for Adams here on the fullback screen. Passes off. He's got some blockers, and it's, again, enough just to get the first down. Well, P. Ryan's back in. Let's continue to run. These runs towards the edge work tremendously well. I think part of that is a little bit of the difficulty level, uh, so maybe we need to up it in future episodes, but that's a good first down. We have made it here to the two-minute warning, and we're going to go with a big bomb on first down. Try to get something. Or we just go check down. Oh, our triangle was wide open. I just couldn't get it in there. Timing, we didn't even get the pass off. It's an eight-yard sack. And just like that, we're in trouble on this drive. Hoping to find somebody open. Coverage has got to hold up. It's a bad throw, but it's still caught by Crowder. It's a manageable third down now. Zach Wilson, four of five through the air. We're going to need another big one. As the clock is still winding down on this quarter. It's an accurate throw. It's caught by Crowder, and he's going to go into the end zone for a touchdown. We're going to go for two to try to make this 14. It was just a minute and 19 left in the half. We're looking good. Nine plays, 85 yards on the drive. Can we convert? Looking to the air on this one. Got to make sure that we get a good pass off. Circles maybe open. He's short. He, he caught it after it was swatted. The defense got there first, but off of the tip. We come down with it and we score. So the two-point conversion is there. We get another perfect kick. This one stays in bounds all the way down to the goal line. And we're going to keep them inside the 20 with a big hit on the return, man. So now up 14 to nothing. Can we hold them? We're getting the ball to start the, the third quarter. Big tackle there uh, as Ashton Davis got in. This is a good game sh so far. Let's see if we can continue. We're bringing pressure. He throws it. Completed pass, but he tackled pretty short there. Third and five now. And I'm going to throw out the same thing. If you guys want to see more Legend Bowl, uh, you guys really got to hit the like button on this video. I'm enjoying the game, but, uh, you know, if it doesn't perform well enough, it doesn't make sense to do it on the channel. So if you haven't already, feel free to hit the like button. 32 seconds left. Another great punt for Buffalo. This one's going to be fielded to the 20, and we're going to get a little bit of a return. But we have two timeouts and a long ways to go to try to score some more points before the half. Well, let's just look deep on first down. I guess this isn't the, the deepest we could throw, but I'm going to loft one up. Crowder comes down with it. The first tackle misses. He's off to the races again. The 20, the 15, the 10, the 5, and he's into the end zone right as he ran out of stamina and a chance to make it a 21 to nothing game. A one play, 66 yard drive. Only took 10 seconds off the clock. And I don't know if I got enough of that one. Hey, we finally made a kick in the game. The extra point is good, and it's now 21-0. Intentionally trying to get this one a little bit lower on power on the kickoff. We get it to 90, so it should be returnable, and that'll continue to burn some clock. I just missed a big hit, but thankfully we stopped him at the 20. And now we just need to not screw this up. Nine seconds left. They do have all their timeouts, but I'm not certain that's going to be a big deal. Uh, they're going to hand it off, and they must be just fine going into the locker rooms. Down at the half here, so as the clock expires and we head towards halftime, we are up really, really big. 21 to nothing, 15 second quarter points, 
as we have held them to zero first downs in the game. Seven total yards for the Bills. This is absolute domination. We have 231 total yards, 187 through the air, and 44 on the ground, which is honestly very, very surprising to me. Seven uh, rushing plays to nine pass plays. Just absolutely fantastic. Time possession, we have quite a bit more than them, but I don't even think that's what's getting us the win. So if we can just continue to cruise on through this, we could start the season with a really, really big win. The third quarter gets underway with another great kick. And this one is deep in the end zone. I'm going to bring it out, though. Maybe a mistake. But we kind of get the corner, and we're out past the 25, so that is absolutely worth it. Just trying to stay patient on the return there and follow our blockers. We'll let Wilson step back to throw. Herndon's open early. It's caught. He gets the stiff arm, and Herndon's off to the races. The passing game is incredible today. He's going to run out of stamina, but he gets across almost to the 25-yard line. Tell me this doesn't look like a team that could potentially make the playoffs. Up 21-0, and to start the third quarter, we're looking absolutely fantastic. The stiff arm from Coleman, and that's going to be another touchdown for the Jets. Certainly, we're upping the difficulty if we do another one of these videos, because this is a slaughter. Tevin Coleman finishes off the job. And I might have just gotten another extra point. 100% power right down the middle. It's 28 to nothing. Another perfect power amount on the kickoff. And that's going to send that one deep into the end zone. They will bring it out. McKenzie, a uh, very high overall player. That's what the stars mean, by the way. And he is just making his way through our return coverage there. Very, very impressed. Again, though, the stars under players, I don't think I've mentioned it, the stars underneath the player uh, or represents their overalls. So a player with no star is just mediocre. A player with a bronze star is above average. Silver is pretty good, and gold is pretty close to superstar. Although you might disagree with some of the rankings that some of these players have. I'm not sure. Allen stepping back to pass. We're trying to keep with him. Completed. Oh, I'm missing tackles left and right. Can we get to Diggs? He's real quick. Thankfully, he runs out of gas, and we stop him from scoring there. 52-yard reception as Allen's getting underway passing. And if we're going to keep the shutout alive, it's going to take a miracle. At least that's what it feels like. This one bobbled in the back of the end zone and incomplete. I would expect them to run the ball at some point here. There it is. Maybe a little toss or a pitch. The spin move from Singletary, and he's into the end zone. We were flying all over the place trying to tackle and just could not get a body on him. And we'll see if they can get this extra point. 28-7 to seven could be possible. I haven't really seen the CPU miss kicks, and their kicker's been great all day, so he puts that one through no problem. And seeing as it's 28 to 7, a three touchdown lead, we might start to burn the clock a little bit here midway, kind of late in the third quarter. Getting a few blocks, we get the stiff arm, but then get tackled immediately. So bad field position to start this drive. Let's really try to run it up the middle with Pirine here as uh, the pressure's there. I have to bounce it to the edge. It is just so much easier to run on the outside than the inside. Uh, look at our left side of the line. One DB covering potentially three routes. We'll see what the linebackers do. Triangle's wide open. Pass is complete to Cole. And that's almost a first down. The clock is run down inside 20 seconds left in this third quarter. Third and two. Definitely not in four down territory. We'll step back. A throw potentially there. It's bobbled and hits the turf. Not able to get under it and get the catch. It's fourth down. Wilson throwing at about 72% today. So we get a decent punt there. Didn't get all the power. Game calls it a shank. It's definitely fieldable. Can we prevent it from becoming a big run? We'll take that. Atlanta blew, what, a 28-3 lead? We were up 28-0. I'm a little bit worried that it could happen if they start to score quickly, although that is going to be at the end of the third quarter. So thankfully, not the most time left on the clock here. We don't have to worry. A whole lot. They should be passing it pretty frequently. That one bobbled and incomplete. It's third and seven. Josh Allen not getting a whole lot of help from his 
receivers today as they're going to throw it up, targeting me. And somehow I can't get up there and get the stop. That's rough. End up getting beat by Cole Beasley as they move across the 40-yard line. This is a run. Not a whole lot of space to work with, though, and they just get one yard on the play. And I would expect them just to continue to pass. It's surprising that they would do anything else. And Diggs with another big reception. Davis gets the tackle, but we are getting cooked through the air right now. Part of this could be that our backups are playing more as the starters are getting more and more tired throughout the game, and they're starting to get cooked. That one's going to be a, another pass completion for a touchdown. What was a four score lead turned into a three score and very quickly turned into a two score lead i hope that they miss this extra point uh, i don't expect it kick is up and that's good 28 to 14 312 left you would think that we would be able to get this done a rare bad kick on the kickoff there but we're not able to do a whole lot on the return Maybe a foolish mistake here. I'm going to go to the air on first down. Throwing the check down. Just got to get the completion. We find Mims there. And Buffalo has taken their first timeout. Uh, we're going to start to run the ball a little bit more. Got to make sure that the clock is moving. A big stiff arm from Pirine as he's going to get across the 50 down to the 40-yard line. That is a massive play in this spot here. Clock moving. And we're going to let this run down to the two-minute warning. Well, actually, we're going to run one play and let the two-minute warning go. After that, uh, got to get as much as we can off the clock. We missed the stiff arm, but we got a huge amount of yards anyways. And now a free little timeout to take a breather. Coleman's going to get the run on this second and three again. Looking for something, just following the blocks. Runs into a wall of bills there, but it's enough for the first down. Second time out taken for Buffalo. And this is a very controversial mistake, potentially. But I'm going to go to the air. It seems like they're probably going to bring a lot of pressure. And we'll run with Wilson. And we'll just toss one up to Mims. Kind of burn the clock a different way there. Hit Trusky on the horn. It's the Jets, and we're running a fullback dive. With a minute and 39 on the clock. This one up the middle is beautiful. It's not enough for the first down, but it is inches short. The Bills are out of timeouts, so a first down here would end the game. P. Ryan getting the uh, pitch on third and inches. He doesn't have the blocks, but he's able to outrun him, and then he gets the blocks. Close to taking that to the end zone, but instead it's just enough. We get the first down, and we just have to run. One more play to end this. We'll give it to Coleman again towards the outside. The blocking looks like it's going to be phenomenal. Couldn't hit him with the spin move, but it doesn't matter. That's a win in the books. As the clock winds down to zero. And we're going to start the season 1-0. A big win over Buffalo. They were, you know, they're a top 10 team in the league. Um, absolutely fantastic. We get a couple of nice achievements. Moss and Laser Arm and Laser Arm... Must mean that we did a very good job passing the ball. Final 28 to 14. Eight first downs to their three. 375 yards to their 127. And that's 252 through the air. So absolutely fantastic. 123 on the ground. And a very even amount of passing and rushing. 14 pass plays to 15 rushes. No penalties committed by either side. No turnovers either. And we almost doubled them up on time of possession at the end of the day. How about our player of the game? I got to imagine it's Zach Wilson. And they give it to Jamison Crowder. 34 fantasy points scored for the wide receiver. Four catches for 176 yards and two touchdowns. A long of 68 yards. Absolutely fantastic. And Zach Wilson on the game with 157.9 passer rating. He goes 10 of 13 for a 76.9. That's really, really, really solid. Rushing-wise, uh, two-headed monster, really. Pirine with seven carries for 69 yards. That's pretty nice. A touchdown in there as well. And Tevin Coleman, six carries for 45 yards. Throw in the fullback, Josh Adams, and you get nine yards off of his two touches. So a fantastic way, again, to start the season. And we can hopefully start our charge towards the playoffs. Around the league... 
some interesting stuff. Detroit does beat Chicago. Houston over Kansas City. Minnesota beats Green Bay. And we will sim the rest of this week and see what happens for us. Uh, looks like Washington shut out Philly. The Chargers win a close one against the Bengals. Tampa Bay slaughtered New Orleans 36 to nothing. That is a rough one. Pittsburgh does a great job picking up the win 24 to nothing. I don't know who Pittsburgh played. ZZ. Why can't I figure this out? It might be that one of the teams in the mod doesn't accurately have uh, the right initials next to them. Well, there we go. It's the Giants. So uh, Pittsburgh blanked the Giants. I'll go ahead and go in and fix that. Our rehab facility has been built, so that's going to help out quite a bit. So on a nice one-game winning streak, I'm not certain if we'll be able to keep it going. We play at San Francisco next week. But again, hit the like button, show a lot of support for this video, and we will continue this season mode. While you're down there hitting that like button, just, you know, take a quick trip over to the subscribe button, if you will. Hit that as well. Again, I got to say thank you for helping us break 2,500 subs. It's uh, phenomenal. It kind of blows my mind. And uh, again, once we hit 200 followers on Twitter, we're going to be giving away a, a very exclusive uh, one of two Goonmaster shirt. So just follow us there. And that's where we'll do the giveaway as well. If you're looking for that link, uh, Twitter again, down in the description, as is the link to the Legend Bolt Discord. Uh, if you're looking to get this NFL mod for the game, there's also links to my Twitch at twitch.tv slash goonmaster and a link to my community Discord as well. All that being said, though, thank you guys so much for watching. I had a blast in this game, but we definitely need to turn the difficulty up. So that'll have to wait until the next time. Uh, my name is Goonmaster. You guys are the goons. Wherever you are, have a good night or have a good morning. And we'll see you later. Adios.